Yo, what's going on guys, it's Swanson XTVI back with another WWE 2K18 Micro Mode episode 56. And you know what I've noticed just right here, right now, that I don't really say the episodes that much often. I, for the past couple of videos, I've just basically said, oh yeah, welcome to the crew mode. But, I've actually missed saying the actual episodes, we're, so we're on episode 56. We're kicking off with the greatest slide match ever. It'll be me versus Titus O'Neil. In a slide contest now, I was just joking. But um, it'll be me versus Titus O'Neil, guys. Um, hopefully it'll be a very short match. Um, and yeah, let's get into it. Alright, Titus O'Neil, give me your best slide you can. No, I was just joking. No well, yeah, we're back playing the micro mode. Um, last episode, I think, was Money in the Bank pay-per-view. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was, anyway. So uh, if you did not see that, it'll be at the end of this video, don't worry. Oh, oh my god, with a knee. Oh, Stevens. Oh, with a reversal there. Neckbreaker, yes. Anyway, guys, how are you guys doing? Have you missed the micro mode? Let me know. Comments down below. That totally round. Oh, Stevens with a sadistic knee. Um, what a way to start off an episode, eh? <laughs> Facing Titus O'Neil. Oh, Stevens! Oh, just flips him right there. My God. Oh, what's Stevens gonna do? I was busy then, yeah, I, I was trying to figure out what the Oh, hooks him down. More moving before he comes? I believe I can. DDT! What, 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 what are you looking at, ref? Oh, okay. Going for an Irish whip in the corner. Oh, I did not mean that. Oh, double knees to the face! Well, guys, if you're listening to this right now, or watching this, uh, obviously, if you, yeah, anyway, um, there will be a lot of more uh, content. I've been struggling off of late. Um, I do apologize for that. But um, I'm going to bring some new sort of WWE match sort of types in here. Some maybe, I think, dream matches or like, you know, some more who would win. If you haven't seen that sort of mini series, you definitely need to go check that out. Just basically. I put two people in the ring, I spectate, I don't actually play the match, and you might be thinking, like, what, why, why? Because I'm good at this game no matter what uh, difficulty it is on, I could put the odds in my favour, I'll probably win. So, uh, but to spectate a match, and, and I won the match, um, of two people that, you know, what the question is, who would win? in a fight out of these people. Now I've actually done quite a lot of intro. I'll, I will link one of them or I'll link my favourite one, either one, um, to the end of this episode. Um, but basically I've done loads of them where it's like Balor versus Demon Balor, Car Angle versus his younger self, you know, sort of those like that. So there'll be a lot of different matches and content. But yeah, we won the match, nice and easy. On to the next. Alright guys, we're back now, that was nice and easy, and we've been fed another easy opponent, Kalisto. Ah, we're back to the getting just bad opponents, but uh, yeah, I suppose let's get right into it. Alright Kalisto, you going down! Now I might actually, looking at this, a split second decision, um, I might actually change my alt a little bit, I'm not sure I like it to its complete potential, um, I'm not too sure, and I might actually do a sort of new thing where I change my alt tire um, or a tire, however you want to say it, I think it's a tire, um, every sort of pay-per-view because in real life or whatever, in the real WWE, um, like when they do pay-per-views, the, like especially, prime example, Seth Rollins, every time he has like a good pay-per-view or like whatever, he always changes his outfit and so, you know, it's different, um, so I think, you know, I might take a little page from his book and uh, do that, you know, just change like the colour or something. It's mainly the colour or the design, but uh, yeah, I might, might do that. And he's going up high risk, and I reverse it, because I'm the man. Oh, he's going for this cross like, oh my god, this, oh, he's going to stretch him, no he isn't. Oh my god, oh, and he plants him back down. He is insane, like insane. Oh, going for it. Now, this move actually got reversed so many times. Um, I think it was the last, not the last match, uh, the last episode where uh, R-Truth literally reversed uh, twice I did it, I think. And I went for the third one. I think I finally got the third one. Or I'm not too sure if I just left it at um, me, you know, not getting the move. Oh, will I even get him from this height? 
I mean, uh, distance? No, I won't, because my guy sucks at aerial offense. Oh, drops down to the knee, but that's what my guy is good at. Dropping down with a knee. Oh, super kick. Oh, and reversal. I hate reversals in this game. They make no freaking sense, because the move I was going for, I was just going to casually drop down, like, let her rock. Wait, wait. I'll see if I can do the move if he gets... Like, look, I jump and do that, right? How how can he reverse, right? The the correct reversal for that, if I was going to jump on his head, he would wait, right? And then, you know, I wouldn't get it, and then he would do a move or something, right? But, for some reason, my guy goes to grab him, and he flicks my leg, and then I fall over. Like, that wouldn't happen, because I'm not going to grab him. I'm just going to jump and put my knee down. Don't know if you guys have ever noticed that in WWE. They don't. The the reversals a lot of the time don't make sense. But um, so yeah, that was my opinion on that. <laughs> Sorry, I had to sort of pause the game. But yeah, the reversals make no freaking sense. Sometimes you get like a reversal mid move. That's what a reversal is. You're mid doing the move. If you're not mid doing the move, then it's just weird because yeah. Don't know if you guys agree. Let me know in the comments if you've ever noticed that or agree. Um with that topic but yeah i won again i think i'm actually on a streak like because i remember i got beat by the Miz. that was actually the only last loss that i actually um and i'm sure i've not been beat since then i'm not too sure but i think i might go back and check because if i'm on a streak it, it's like i'm the new freaking goldberg guys I sort of forgot to do a little intro or whatever, but uh, we're facing Cedric Alexander next. Three very bad opponents. Um, I'm not saying they're bad wrestlers. Well, they're, yeah, they're not the greatest, but um, I'd rather face a lot more higher up people. Uh, it's this sort of same similar thing as what's, what happened to SmackDown. That's why I sort of moved to Raw, because I thought, yeah, Braun Strowman, Roman Reigns, Samoa Joe... You know, really tough opponents, but uh, no, we get dealt two superstars from the cruiserweight division, and a man that doesn't wrestle and slips under at the Greatest Royal Rumble. Um, hmm. yeah, and I've beat people like Brock Lesnar, John Cena, AJ Styles, um, but apparently, you know, I just get dealt these people for. I don't know, they, they, for the laughs, I don't know what my guy's doing. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, but it's very frustrating when I don't get a good opponent because then I can't really put on a good match. It's just sort of me talking and then, you know, me just casually beating the person and I don't like that. Um, even if I was to put on Legend, it's like I would still win. But eventually, you know, my guy's just going to hit the finisher and beat him. It's not going to be exactly special. So, yeah. I think it may be for the overall of my guy, but the only way I can get overall things is getting attribute points. Uh, well, the only way I can get my overall, sorry, is if I get attribute points, and the only way to do that is to get um, points from loot cases. And the only way to do that, literally everything has like a root. Um, the only way to do that is matches, but I can't really get good matches because... I could let I could let this last like until like a five star or four star match, but it's so hard and it would be gone on for so long when I can just win the match, progress through the next week or whatever, and then that's it. Oh, we're going for the cover. One. Oh, really? One count. So it is very annoying. This is why I, I said a long time ago I was really considering on ending the my career mode series because it is not done very well. You can progress so much easier in this game, but the overall aspect sucks so hard. Because in 2K17, you could get your guy to 100 overall um, and still have good, really, really good matches. Like, I always I had an amazing rivalry with John Cena. So many superstars um, are, you know, better. Overall, made the match good because I never got fed opponents like this guy. And he reversed my signature, that's great. <sighs> but uh, here we are, continuing the body series. <laughs> it is a thought though, it is a thought um, that I might end the series and move on to different 
aspects of WWE. And that's all I'm going to say about that. Nope, that one misses. Boy, that was oh, terrible. okay. He's Get up, like please. Thank you. Hello, the kick inbound. Hello, the kick. Oh, I got no stamina. I got no man enough. I got no man enough. I got no stamina. You know, let's see what his finisher is. What's his finisher? If I, oh, hey, that familiar. oh, going for it. Wow, oh, okay. What move? He did that? That's not the best move, but kick out. slap him on the head. Two. Wow, what's it going to take? God damn it! Why did they not just give up straight away? It's so annoying. That okay. Oh, cold breaker is a normal move. All right, because that's that's what we do now. Oh crap! Oh, reversal! Oh, look at the strength in Stevens. He's not giving up. Oh, he just flipped Cedric Alexander around like he was nothing, because I did, and he is. Oh, spinebuster! Okay, if my guy wants to get up, I'll make capitalize, cap capitalize, capitalize. I don't know. I can't say the word. Email. <laughs> Blue thunder bomb. One, two. Looks like it's high five him. Oh, I need kicked out again. What? Seriously. Belly to belly to win the match. Where the hell the move is? One. Two. Oh, man, I oh, okay. he had him. God damn it. Kicked out. Maybe two finishers, his own and my own. Cedric Alexander, he might be a good opponent, guys. I might have I might have made a mistake here. Well, now nah, he's a rubbish opponent, but he seems to, you know, not being given up. So props to him for continuing to get me up, I guess. Oh, roll out power bomb. Going for it. Oh. Plants him down. That's one thing I never have. Stop. Never. That's it. Oh. Let's go for it. Close line time. Up. Ow. Super kick. Hey, where are you going? Yeah, really? He misses the mark. He might need glasses, Cole. His eyesight is clearly compromised. Oh, Stevens rips him down. So weird how there's just no one has been table. It's so pointless. Anything left, Michael. Bring it Sting now. This might be the end of the road for him, Byron. Well, if he can't get back to his feet, you're absolutely oh. right. Oh boy, he is rolling. See his stamina, just never it's never up. Right, come on, spine buster time. He might be out, Cole. Oh, going for spine buster. No, I'm going for the cover. Just in case he does kick out. Two. And he did not. Boom, there we go. Goddamn Cedric Alexander. <laughs> I, I I hyped I no I unhyped him so much I was like he sucks but yeah he he stayed on for a long time he survived a halula kick uh, a spine buster a blue thunder bomb a, his own finisher like this guy went this guy went through a lot but I won Wait. oh I clicked oh oops I might have sort of clicked A instead of start oh well Hey, hey, on the outside. Hey, hey, that Alexander in the match is over. Hey. Oh, thumbnail right there. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are at battle. Just looked at, and I have one of the biggest opponents in WWE. I have him in a match. And the and find out, and guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure you leave a comment below and a like. Subscribe if you're not. And yeah, guys, you will find out. And, well, yeah, you will find out who I'm facing in episode 57 next time. Peace.